What's up Sneaky Nation, Sneaky P here back with more NBA 2K My Player with Malik Akwegbu and this is a big game for me because we are getting ready to take on the Indiana Pacers, my favorite team and this is also our third out of four games in our second 10 day contract so it's going to be very important that we play well through this game and hopefully, hopefully uh, we can stick around and earn another contract and just showed Paul George on the bench so I'm wondering if he is actually injured in this game as well. I thought I started it before that happened. But anyway, Chris Copeland, that is who we are guarding right now. He is a huge three-point threat. He doesn't bring a whole lot else to the table. It might be easier to score on him. His defense is not all that great, but that guy can shoot the three like crazy. And right there, you see Malika Quagbu getting his first rebound of the game, leading the break now for the Hornets. He's going to pull up at the top of the key, kick it over to Cody Zeller, who throws it down to Biombo. Back to Quagbu here, and Kimball Walker is going to launch a three. It is not going to be good. Rodney Stuckey with the rebound, leading the break for the Pacers here. And he has a very little gu uh, people guarding him there. He is going to pull it out, kick it over to George Hill, though. And Hill trying to figure out what to do. Copeland, got to watch these screens. It looks like he is about to break for the three-point line. And he is going to lose control of the ball, throw it out to Stuckey, who launches a long three as the shot clock is expiring, and he makes it. Unbelievable play by Rodney Stuckey there. Quaybu back with the ball here. He's going to kick it down to Cody Zeller who is going to get fouled. So a nice play by Ikwegbu leading to a foul with the pass there. CJ Watson with the ball at the top of the key, just kind of waiting for the court to open up for him. And he's going to gain some room there on Roberts, but he does bring it back out, gets a screen from Luis Scola, kicks it over to Scola, who is great in those pick and pop situations, but he's going to throw it over to CJ Miles, who will have a Quagbu jumping in the air. Miles will bury the shot. Now My uh, Quagbu is going to get a foul called. CJ Miles will make the free throws there. It is a 22-21 game. The Pacers have the lead. A Quagbu and the Hornets need to make something happen here before the quarter ends. And a Quagbu does just that, getting to the basket with the layup there. Uh, later on in the second quarter now, we are going to be guarding George Hill here and... Uh, Neil is going to have the ball kick it over to Malik Akwegbu. Akwegbu trying to wait. He finds Neil over in the corner. Neil is going to pull up for a shot, and he is not going to make it. A missed assist opportunity there for the Hornets and Malik Akwegbu, who is guarding George Hill here. And Hill waiting for the court to open up. But David West coming to set a screen for him. That's going to give Hill a little bit of room, but he's not going to try to do anything with it there. Uh, just kind of waiting to see if the rookie is going to make a mistake. Hill. Another screen coming from David West, and Okwebu sags off a little bit. West with the shot. He misses at Malik Okwebu, his second rebound of the game. And he will be leading the break for the Hornets here, trying to make a move on C.J. Watson. He is going to the basket, but he is going to miss the layup. Luis Scola with the rebound. Now C.J. Watson and the Pacers with the ball. A five-point lead, 41-36. to They're going to kick it over to David West, who's going to throw it back to C.J. Watson. Who gives it and goes with West again. West on the block trying to make something happen. A fadeaway here. He misses it big time. Malika Quaybu another rebound later on in the period. About two minutes to go. Biombo with an incredible dunk on the assist from Gerald Henderson there. The Hornets down by nine now with under a minute to go here in the second quarter. They need to get this game closer before halftime if they want to have a shot at coming back against this Pacers team. Gary Neal kicks it over to Henderson trying to drive. He finds a Quagbu who makes the basket. Malika Quagbu, his second goal of the game. That gives him four points to go with three rebounds on 66 field goal percentage right now. And George Hill, a nice shot. It is not going to fall. Quaybu does get the rebound, but not in time before halftime. David, a great time. first half that demonstrates a lot of the evolution of this team. As a veteran of this group, can you tell us a bit about the concepts that have helped this cohesion? You know, we've, we've developed some good habits, creating an identity. Uh, but we've just got to continue to try to make the right play every single time. Uh, and then the game will speak for itself. David, thank you, guys. Play after the Okay, let's get it together, guys. We're not that far out of it, and it's not going to take much to get this building going again. Listen up. A nice chunk of our offense in the first half came from the low post, and one thing that should definitely do for us in the third quarter is open things up on the perimeter. We should have a lot of room to operate outside. If there's one thing we could do better, it's make use of the three-point shot. They've defended it well so far, but we shouldn't get away from it. And let me tell you this. The third quarter is going to be a showcase for our pick and roll, fellas. 
That is what kicks our offense into gear. It's been a struggle so far. That's one thing you don't need a coach to tell you. We got a whole second half to turn it around. Now get out there and compete. Back in the second half now, we are going to be guarding Rodney Stuckey, who is having an incredible game so far. So we're definitely going to have the work cut out for us, but we are only down by three at this point. However, Quigbu turns the ball over, and Stuckey is going to make him pay on the other end with a dunk, putting it back up to a five-point game, 60-55. to The Hornets with the ball. Roberts now trying to make a move, and Quigbu set the screen for the score there. It is back to a three-point game, 60-57. to C.J. Watson trying to make something happen this time. For the Pacers, he's going to cut out. He has a mismatch advantage with Zeller on him. And Aquagbu loses Stuckey, who is going to drill the three. Stuckey, 20 points on 8 of 12 shooting right now. Aquagbu trying to repay the favor. It is a 6-point game, 63-57. to 57. The shot clock is winding down. He kicks it over to Roberts, who will drill the three, making it a 3-point game, 63-60. to 60. C.J. Watson again with the ball. Roberts was guarding him. He throws it over to Miles. Miles going to the basket. And good defense by Zeller there. Quigbu is going to get the rebound. And he has four points to go. Four rebounds, but a wild shot. Trying to make it a lot more difficult than it needed to be. The Pacers are going to get the rebound. Throw it down to Miles, who will make the easy basket. It is a four-point game now, 69-65. to Under a minute to go here in the third. Quigbu turns the ball over again. Miles with the ball, leading the break here for the Pacers. And he is going to lose the ball. Kid Gilchrist will cause the uh, turnover there. And he is going to pull the ball back out. And they are going to reset the clock here. Or reset the uh, floor anyway. A Quake boot down to Zeller. And Zeller is just kind of just kind of chilling. He doesn't really know what he's doing. Oh, he's finally going to make a move over to a Quigbu who loses the ball. However, Henderson will get it and drill the three as the shot clock expires. A one-point game here in the third, and that will be it as we head to the fourth quarter. Now, I believe Stuckey made a shot before the end of the quarter there. So, two-point game, under three minutes to go here in the fourth. 88-86, the Pacers have the lead, and this is going to be a very important defensive possession for the Hornets trying to make something happen. West throws it to Stuckey, cut into the basket, and Malika Quaybu is going to come from behind to foul him. Stuckey will make one of the two free throws. The Hornets with the ball here. An incredible shot from Marvin Williams. It is a one-point game, 89-88. to Under two minutes to go now, George Hill kicks it over to Stuckey, down on the block to Hibbert, and Hibbert will just manhandle the Hornets defense there, making it a three-point game. A minute 35 to go. Kimball Walker with the ball for the Hornets. Trying to figure out something here. He kicks it over to a Quagbu. A Quagbu back out to Walker. Driving to the hole here and he will miss it. He had a lot of room to work with had he pulled up for a shot. Instead, he took it into traffic and it did not go well. Copeland on the other end will make a very difficult shot. And just like that, it is a five-point game. The Pacers have the lead with just over a minute to go here. Now, Quaybu's going to drive and he will get fouled by Roy Hibber. Great job from the rookie. Getting to the hole in a clutch situation like that. However, he will miss the first free throw. Definitely not what he wanted out of that situation. Aquegbu trying to redeem himself. He will make the second. It is a four-point game, 93-89. to Under a minute to go. A huge, crucial defensive possession. The Hornets need to get a stop here. George Hill trying to figure out what to do. He finds David West. He misses it, and Marvin Williams will get the rebound. This is going to be huge. The Hornets need to score here. They do not need a three. All they do need is to get a basket of some sort. Kimball Walker with the ball, and that is who the Hornets want to have the ball. However, he will lose possession. Kick it over to Marvin Williams, and a long contested shot is going to fall incomplete. Kid Kilgris gets the rebound. But his shot will be blocked, and now it is just a free throw game. The Pacers will make enough and pull out with a 96-89 victory over the Hornets here. They will not win. Wow. Even missing Paul George, the Pacers are going to get a win. Rodney Stuckey, an incredible game. Uh, plus the veteran leadership of David West and George Hill will carry the Pacers to a victory David, here. this was a game not for the faint of heart. How did you guys play through the physicality? Yeah, you know, it's a bunch of smart guys in this locker room. Uh, you know, guys no time and place. You know, we want to be aggressive, but also want to be smart with them. So, you know, the game got a little chippy, but by that time, we had a good lead. Congratulations, David. Kevin, over to you. Thank you. 
So overall, we really didn't have a bad game. Five points, four rebounds, one assist. We did have two turnovers. Wasn't too happy with that. Uh, two or four free, uh, field goal percentage, but we did miss that easy layup, and then we made another one a lot more difficult than it needed to be. We do have some points for some upgrades here. Again, guys, let me remind you, this is going to be a grindy series. I'm not going to be that player dropping 75 points my rookie season. I don't really like that style of game. I want it to be a, a grind, and that's what I'm shooting for here. But let's go ahead and upgrade some things. Inside score, level two, definitely should help us out with those layups. Uh, missing two layups was... A little bit frustrating and playmaking. We are going to go ahead and get another playmaking one as well, guys. Thank you so much for watching this series. I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you'd like to see more, please hit that like button. It helps me out a lot, and I'll see you next time. Later.